All right. Well, we did a Facebook live video, tried to anyway, had some technical difficulties. So we are pre recording this Facebook spotlight for Mr. BJ Cross, who is an account development manager with PPG Paints, um, who everyone knows is one of our prestigious diamond sponsors at the GCNKAA. So uh, you saw BJ and I both in this same uh, scene uh, um, on Facebook live for a few minutes back on December 18th. So we're recording this on December 18th. We're going to air it on January 1st. Happy New Year to everyone. Um, and BJ, Happy let's just dive right in. Happy New Year, right? Hopefully Happy New Year. will be a much different, and by different, we mean infinitely better year for everybody. Okay. Um, I'd love to invite you. Let's just kind of start from the top and tell us a little bit about who you are, what you do, PPG. And um, anything you want to share about that that company, that great company? Yeah, uh, so I'm BJ Cross with PPG. Uh, been here for 13 years. Um, I am a sales rep. I've been a store manager. I've been assistant manager. Um, but for sales rep, I've been here for five years now and love it. Uh, love creating my own schedule, the freedom that entails um, being a sales rep. Um, so PPG is the largest coatings manufacturer in the world. Um, our services go from anywhere as far as custom color matching to uh, custom color renderings. Um, we come out to your property and we'll do, we'll take pictures and our uh, color designer, Suzanne, will she'll do a full on color rendering so you can see different colors on your property uh, as to what they'll look like interior or exterior. Um, you know, we offer free delivery, um, very great discounts on, <clears throat> on products. Um, but I've always wanted a career and I have one now, so I'm very grateful. And to be, we worked through the entire pandemic, thankfully, so. I'm very grateful to be here. Yeah, wonderful. Well, um, there was definitely no shortage of um, need for us in this industry on the operating side um, to keep apartments moving. We saw quite a bit of um, traffic and activity and certainly appreciate all of our partners who helped us stay in business with getting the supplies and the goods and services that we needed to keep people in business. It's um, you know, awful the, the year that everyone had, but for us to be part of an industry that provides one of the basic necessities in housing, um, it, it was really, really helpful to have partners like PPG and, um, you know, the like to help us stay in business. So thank you for that. Um, how have you found your relationship with the GCNKAA and specifically with having a diamond uh, sponsorship? How have you found that to be beneficial to, to you and to PPG? Uh, so as far as being partners, it it's really worked out. The networking is probably the greatest thing I've taken away from being a diamond sponsor and part of the association. Uh, all of the events that we're able to have, that, that we were able to have, uh, we're still doing virtual events, um, which has been nice. You know, getting to see everybody and hear everybody's voice. Um, the networking has been really, really great for PPG. Um, you know, the trade shows or reverse trade show is phenomenal. Yeah. Well, we're planning an in-person trade show um, for 2021. So we're really excited about that. It's going to be in a different month than usual, just to make sure we give it plenty of time to pass. We're going to do the reverse trade show in March and then the actual in-person event um, for the, the trade show in August. So stay tuned for more information about that. And I know PPG will be um, among the first to get in line to, to meet us in person. So we're excited for that. Always. Yeah, um, BJ, share with mm -hmm. us one of your most memorable stories from you know being in the business for the last 13 years. Uh, you know, I've heard a lot of funny stories or horror stories as far as the operations side. Uh, being on the service side, I don't have any, anything scary or too funny. Uh, my best memories are making uh, relationships with new customers. Um, gaining someone's trust, I think, is a really hard thing to do anymore. Um, so I, I value that quite a bit. Um, 
I'll do what I can to earn your business. Um, I'm not a, a hard pressed salesman and, you know, buy now or else. I mean, I'll do what I can to help, help out a customer. But once I have a customer, you know, in my corner, I, I do everything I can to keep them happy. Well, thank you very much. We appreciate that. Um, what kind of advice would you offer up to vendors who are, you know, getting into this organization or, or really any professional organization to help out in their career? Uh, any advice would be just uh, don't be scared to join in. Just do it. I am extremely quiet and an introvert. So when I kind of got thrown into this, I took over a, t a sales territory that was multifamily segmented. Um, so when I was told that I had to be part of an association that kind of to freak me out, um, I'm not big on crowds. Uh, I don't like to talk a lot, which is kind of funny being a sales rep, but, uh, <laughs> you know, it, the thing is, is just putting yourself out there. Um, don't be afraid to, you know, just start talking and that's how you build all the relationships. Uh, I already got a lot of great friends that I've gained from the association. Uh, the networking, it's, you can't beat it. It is a very close knit industry. And I know people have uh, made lifelong friends and partners and uh, everything in between through getting involved. So that's really great advice. Thank you. Well, tell us a little bit about your family. We're going to get to know you a little bit on a personal level. And I, I just want to say thank you. I know um, being so private and um, introverted, these kinds of things probably aren't exactly at the top of your list as uh, fun activities, but I appreciate it and I love the opportunity to get to know people um, a little bit better. So thanks for doing this. Um, and we'll yeah. make it as painless as possible, um, but share, share what you're comfortable sharing about your family. Uh, so I'm... Um married my wife and i like we talked about earlier my wife and i met uh in 1996 this is 24 years ago um we met on a blind date uh she called me and asked me out so i like to brag about that <laughs> she got lucky so um we've been together we were together 10 years we dated and then we've been married for 14 years um we have Two boys, Logan is 15 and Mason's 12. Um, Logan is a typical boy teenager, loves his Xbox uh, gaming. Uh, he'd like to do something in the veterinarian field. Mm -hmm. uh, he loves animals. Uh, um, Mason is our kid who's outside nonstop year round. Uh, if it has wheels or an engine, he's on it. Oh, cool. Uh, he wants to be a uh, first responder. So the, the specific field varies from week to week as far as what he wants to be, but he wants mm -hmm. to help you. So, I love that. Yeah. Well, that's uh, quite the contrast of interest too. So that probably keeps you on your toes. It does. What about yeah. pets? If you have an animal lover in the house, I'm sure you have pets. We do. Uh, well, I think Logan gets his love for animals from my wife. My wife is that one who will see a cat on the side of the road and stop traveling. <laughs> Right. Um, they got a heart of gold. Uh, so we have we have two cats, two dogs. Uh, we fostered quite a bit of dogs before. Uh, we've adopted and rescued all of our animals. Um, Buddy, who is 17, passed away earlier this year. Uh -huh. um, Lucky is 16. He's our other cat. So when we get an animal, we keep them for, I mean, it's it's a one and done. With yeah. Uh -huh. um, Stella. She is, uh, she's our only female pet. She is four and a half. And then Bailey, who just turned one yesterday, uh, he's our puppy. Oh, what kind of puppy? So he is Australian Shepherd Beagle Mix. And Cute. Stella is a uh, Pit Terrier Mix. Oh, nice. So they're best friends. Oh, I bet. It's yeah. always nice when you have a puppy to befriend the older animals too. <clears throat> yeah, he, he, he keeps her on her toes. I yeah. bet, yeah. And yeah. do the cats and dogs get along? Well, yeah, mostly. <laughs> <laughs> if they have to, yeah. They stay. Right. They tolerate they stay, each other. Yeah, we, uh, the cats, 
to have the finished basement and the dogs stay on the main level and upstairs. So we try to just keep it separated. There you go. That probably works. Yeah. Um, what do you guys like to do in your spare time as a family? Uh, I enjoy, I'm a homebody. I enjoy being at home. Um, we, my wife and I like to go out. We have date nights. We'll go out for dinners and pedicures. Um, you no, know, we used to go see movies. Uh, I guess it's a thing of the past now. Back, back when there were things like movie back, theater. Yes, I know. Back good old days. <laughs> yeah, uh, the boys, I mean, we'll, we've been taking them out for pedicures and it's just, we like doing little things to, to kind of spoil them, but um, we love taking vacations. We typically do a vacation once a year. What's your uh, favorite we, vacation spot? Uh, the past few years has been Hilton Inn. Oh, we, yeah. We love Hilton. Uh, we've been Myrtle Beach, um, I don't know, Florida quite a few times. My wife has mm -hmm. a lot of family in Florida. So we had planned on Florida this year, but with COVID, we canceled. Right. So maybe yeah, next year. Put the, put the kibosh on quite a few plans. So um, I'm happy that restaurants are back open again. You mentioned you like to, on date nights, go out to eat. What's one of your favorite restaurants or foods? Uh, so I'm... I'm real picky for a big guy on my food. Uh, I love Texas Roadhouse steak. Mm -hmm. um, uh, my kind of go-to is uh, Chick-fil-A. So I'm there three times a week, probably or more. Yeah. Not on Sundays, right? Not on Sundays. No, it's a little, that's the Lord's Day. <laughs> that's the Lord's Day. Yeah. So, yeah, I started a new diet early this year and I've cut out, you know, all of fast food except for you know, Chick-fil-A. Uh, I, I joke around and say that's God's food, so you can't get <laughs> out. And calories, right? Calories, yeah. Memes uh, about Chick-fil-A are so funny. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I've cut a lot of stuff out, you know, pop, liquor, beer, all that junk is bad for you, so. Yeah. Uh, it's been great. It's uh, a lot more energy. Good for you. Well, I know we talked offline about um, the journey and I had a similar journey 10 or 12 years ago. So um, look forward to watching you continue to progress. And then at the end of it, kind of looking back on, um, you know, how far you've come, it's definitely a, a lifelong journey. So I admire you for what you're doing. And it's been, uh, it's been very um, encouraging to see the progress you've made so far. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I appreciate absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Well, what about sports? Are y'all sports fans at the house? Well, I am. Uh, my wife says she am. She likes Pittsburgh, uh, the Steelers. But ooh, yuck! I'm just kidding. I know she don't. She don't watch any games. So well, we uh, got the the Bengals Steelers coming up Sunday, so that'll be fun. Yeah, uh, the boys they're not really into sports. Um, it's been a rough, I said rough year, but it's been a rough decade for me. I'm a Bengals fan and a Michigan fan. So oh, gosh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's rough. It's been a rough, like, three decades for, you know, Cincinnati football fans, but who's counting, right? <laughs> right. It's next year's our year. It's our year. I know it. Um, I usually yeah. go to the Bengals Steelers game. If I don't go to any other games, I did get to go to a game earlier this year, but um, I'm like, you know what? It's cold. Our quarterback's not playing. Uh, we kind of yeah. have, you know, Little to no hope, I'm going to stay home and watch it from the comfort of my very warm home in very comfy pajamas. So yeah, um, it's the Sunday night game, so that'll be fun. Yeah. Um, well, what about um, TV shows or movies? What's one of your favorite TV shows to catch? Uh, we are diehard Walking Dead fans. Oh, yeah. From season one, episode one. Um, we haven't missed one of them. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, there's there's a lot of other shows I like. I'm I'm more into comedies, um, and it's funny because a lot of the shows I like end up getting canceled, so it must <laughs> not be good. Right. So. Well, I don't know. I just think there's so much. There's it's like overload, so shows just don't last as long as they used to. Right. I really yeah. struggle getting committed to new shows because my heart's been broken so many times by shows that I love going off the air. I'm like I I have commitment issues. I cannot invest my emotions into another show and and have my heart right. broken when it gets canceled after a couple seasons right um yeah movies i mean 
I'm a huge Marvel fan. We've mm -hmm. seen all the Marvel movies. Yep. Who's your um, favorite Marvel character? Uh, I really like the Hulk. Um, mm -hmm. Kind of relates to Hulk quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, and on the on the other side too, I really like Thanos. Oh yeah. The the, the bad guy. Yeah. So, uh, we oh, yeah. watched Household is a huge Marvel fan too, so I I can't not uh, you can't not subscribe yeah. when everybody likes it, right? Right. Yeah, we, uh, I mean, Fast and Furious movies, we watched all those. Um, you know, any, anything, my side is uh, anything horror movies mm -hmm. directed by Rob Zombie, I'm a big fan of. Oh, yeah. So, well, who could be any character from a movie, who would you be? Uh, that's, I think, honestly, probably Superman. I Superman? mean, uh, yeah, I was, I thought about that quite a bit, you know, the, I can't imagine what I could get done if I had his speed or strength. Right. I mean, the world needs superheroes, honestly. So I like yeah. that. Yeah. He's kind of like the original, right? Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Um, well, I know you probably haven't been to many concerts lately, but what's one of the best concerts that you've ever been to? Um, again, I'm not a fan of large crowds. So if we do go to a concert, I try, I try to go to the smaller, more mm -hmm. intimate concerts. Uh, we've been to a few down at Bogarts. And um, my favorite was Pop Evil. It's a rock band. Mm -hmm. We were so close. You could, I mean, everything you could feel in your chest just vibrating oh, wow. the music. And it was, it was good. It was a good night. Nice. I've been to Bogarts a few times. It's been a very, very long time, but um, that's a fun place to go. Yeah. And then there's a place in Northern Kentucky I just went last December actually um, called, I think it's Southgate Revival or something like that. Yeah. It's an old yeah. church and it's a very small venue, like very, very small venue. Um, yeah. Small with Bogarts for sure. But have you been there? No, I haven't. It's pretty cool when the concert scene picks back up again and it's, you know, like not national acts or anything, but um, more the, um, just indie style, I guess, um, right. or, you know, the people who are up and coming, but it's a really, really cool place to go, especially if you like the more intimate venues. Yeah. Um, yeah. I skipped over a question I wanted to go back to really quick because I'm um, super into podcasts myself. What's one of um, your favorite podcasts to listen to? We talked earlier, you were in your car, we were trying to film the yeah. live video and you're like, I'm always in my car. So you're probably listening to podcasts. Yeah, so I do. I listen to a few podcasts uh, until I get burnt out and switch to Pandora. But uh, the podcast that I my kind of go to is the the Joe Rogan Experience. Yeah. Um, just the complete bluntness of him, and it's a hundred percent facts. So I like that. Very and, popular uh, among uh, the males, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. And uh, there's a comedian, uh, Tom Segura. He has one called Your Mom's House. Uh, it's not for the faint of heart, but I watched that one. Nice. Uh, I haven't heard of that one. I'll have to check that one out. Um, I do. I love that question because it's introduced me to so many really cool podcasts that I wouldn't necessarily have found otherwise. So um, right. I'll check that out. Um, well, just a couple more questions for you, BJ, and I'll let you get back to your day. Thanks for pivoting and being flexible so we can get this um, recorded. Yeah. I was um, yeah. I was so upset on the um, the live. I was like, I know people want to hear this, and we were missing out. So I'm glad we were able to to get this uh, pre recorded version done. Um, but just a couple more questions for you. Um, what is a random fun fact about you that people wouldn't otherwise know if we didn't just ask you that very specific question? Uh, so TikTok. Yeah. So uh, I think everybody's kind of on it or watches it and. I originally downloaded that to monitor my 12 year old son's content and what he right. watched. And I ended up getting addicted to it. So like 15 minutes turns into three or four hours. Mm -hmm. That's probably half the reason I'm up till three or four o'clock in the morning anyways. Um, so watching that now, I'd, I would like to clean my garage out and make a, a woodworking shop. So all the woodworking ideas on there and the DIY mm -hmm. stuff, it, it completely has me hooked. Um, oh, cool. Seeing people start up just their own woodworking. It, they make it look so easy. I, I know, like right? Yeah. 
it's like Pinterest uh, makes recipes look so easy. Um, but I, yeah. I am also, I know you joined the social media committee um, meeting not too long ago. We were talking about TikTok. I certainly think it's like the craze and, and we'll figure out how to make that really work for our industry. A lot of the site folks are doing it already. Um, yeah. Whatever your hobby is, whatever you're interested in, I know a lot of people thought it was just, um, you know, kids dancing and lip syncing and things like that. But there, there are so many different ways and um, interests to kind of learn more about through that platform. It's a huge platform to promote your business for free. Yeah, definitely. And a ridiculously insane, large audience. Um, sure. And the other thing that I am kind of just grasping is how, you know, people have zero attention span these days. It's like super fast, go, 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 swipe if you don't, you know, like what you're watching or it's it's over before you know what happens. Um, and you can find the people that you want to follow that you like, but otherwise it's just like, you know, little tiny bites of information. Yeah. So cool. Well, I think that was a really cool random fun fact. And I'm going to hit you up for um, advice when we get to using TikTok for our social media committee. Yeah. Um, all right. I think I have two more questions for you, um, BJ, and then we'll let you get to your weekend and back to your vacation. You're on vacation today. So thank you again yeah. for doing this. Um, but how do you think people who've worked with you in your career would describe you as a professional? Uh, a lot of them, I would say, you know, I tend to put others first. I'm very sincere in what I do. I don't talk a lot, but when I do talk, there's meaning behind it. Um, that and strong morals. Um, I'm very strong morals and strong willpowered. So hopefully that's good. Yeah, very much. Yeah. yeah. The, um, I like the, you speak with meaning too. That's uh, certainly a good character trait to have. Um, and thank you again for doing this interview. It's, it's always nice to get to know people, but especially the people who, you know, you wouldn't otherwise necessarily have the opportunity. Right. People who like me um, rarely stop talking. <laughs> um, people that you, you know, this platform is just for um, that purpose, really giving people the opportunity to know you. Hopefully our members will now um, come to you at our next event and say, hey, I saw both of your videos and right. for, you know, PPG and um, all of all of the support that you provide. Well, I'd like right. to end with the question um, that I love. You actually added it to our survey and I'm, I might just uh, ask if I can rip this off and put it on all of our surveys moving forward. Um, but it's a favorite quote of yours and I'd love to ask you to share your favorite quote. Yeah, so mine is kind of what I live my life by. It's by the Dalai Lama. Uh, it's when you talk, you're only repeating what you already know. Uh, but if you listen, you may learn something new. So that might be why I'm so quiet all the time. I like to learn. That's deep. I like it very much. Thank you again, BJ. Thank you for your support um, at this association. Um, I know, again, you're a very familiar face to us because you've you've been... Um, you know, supporting us for quite some time, but I, I hope that people got to know a little bit more about you and um, yeah. here's to a successful and, um, you know, infinitely better 2021. I look forward to seeing you uh, on the, our next couple of virtual events and then again in person um, very soon in the summer. Thank you. Happy holidays to you and your family. I appreciate right. again your time and flexibility. Happy holidays to all of our members and we look forward to a very productive 2021. Yes. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye, everyone. Bye, guys. Bye.